I'm feeling amazing after being graduate after four years. Um, it's taken a while and some lots of hard work. I think the, the best part about into my first year was the, the support, the individual support that I got. Now, when I progressed to Queens in the second year, I didn't see that. With, with into it felt more like if I was in trouble, I could just go to anyone, really, any of the lectures and uh, ask them for help. And I have received help every time that I've asked for it. So that was pretty much the, the factor which I think really helped me settle down into the degree and uh, helped me prepare better for the second year and what challenges it was going to put forward towards me. And I think that's one of the factors that really, that I really think that into is something that I would recommend to anyone. And I would just say like, if there is, if Intu is offering you a position, just go for it, because it's just a, such a nice experience. Well, the benefits of studying abroad, um, well, the first thing is that it's the exposure. You get to know different people. And apart from that, it's just a different learning environment. So at home, you'll be more in your comfort zone. But once you leave the university from, like from what I've heard from my friends, they still stay in that phase where they're still at university kind of thing. But over here, once you travel here, it's just a very different life. Um, you have to do everything on your own. So I think you grow up quicker than most of your friends who did not travel abroad. Um, what I noticed was when I go back home to visit, I've got a much different personality than, than what other people might have because you learn different things. You need to tackle your own problems. Now that I have graduated, uh, I'm planning to do my PhD at Queen's. Uh, they, are, they have some fully funded positions that I'm going for and I've been given the green light by the, one of the professors and uh, uh, now I just have to sit in front of the panel and <laughs> put on a nice advertisement for myself saying that, yeah, I'm good enough for this position. It's going to be three more years. Um, but if I don't get that, I'm applying to Formula One because I've always wanted to go there and I'm waiting on a Mercedes uh, AMG to get back to me and Aston Martin to get back to me so hopefully that works out <laughs> and, uh, uh, but overall I think if I have both of the positions if I have, if I have that luxury then maybe I'll stick here and, and do my PhD in composites.